trainings are required for making an industry to function better in a, in aspect of the environmental consequence now there are three things which has to be discussed in this class one is training second one awareness third one is competency competitiveness is called competency how much eligible people are there in order to compete for that job example you might require an engineer for a job they can ask be degree holder is the general requirement for the job and when they are asking number of people will go and attend for the interview how will they select if any company is offering a job they will give the requirement for that job so in that first thing they disclose that this is the education requirement when they look into education requirement that is called competency how many people will come nearly hundreds of people might come from that they will screen how they screen according to job role that is the next process so first process is called competency how they create this in their industrial process example effluent treatment plant is a job can you see here a person who is measuring ph this is called ph meter it comes under chemistry so you need solutions in order to find ph now due to latest technology you have ph meter like this this is available for 200 and 300 rupees if you buy that if you just immerse in the water it will identify the ph level now imagine a industry is letting the effluent to the stream to the river they have to check the ph then only they have to let the water into the river so in river you have aquatic living beings and the river water has been consumed by humans so before letting to the stream they have to check the ph how will they check there is a job role they will recruit for that job imagine they are disposing around 3000 liters of effluent daily they have to check the ph level of the waste then only they have to let out so they will call for a job so for that how will they offer a job and how will they select first they call for all bsc chemistry they are the major people who very well know about the chemistry due to that this is one of the example they call for the job second thing is the competence can be gained by outside education training and experience not only in colleges they will get the degree there are training courses offered by the companies tata is offering the training courses have anyone visited tata steel website tata steel is a large organization they are the first to include in the shares share market they have tcs tata consultancy service and tcs is having steel in construction they supply steel isn't it for construction of houses that is also tata brand so what they do is they offer training courses nptel is offering training course iit is offering nptel course after attending the course you will get certification the same way even organizations will offer training courses so why because they need people to work in fluent treatment plant bsc chemistry is not at all sufficient they need additional information they need additional knowledge that is why they provide training and experience to gain that experience they provide this thing so for a environmental management standard the large organization provide training from their organization itself so this is one of the part of ems if your effluent level is having a ph of 4 will you allow it into the river ph 4 is an acid yes or no if acid is disposed in a liquid so it will definitely harm the environment so the operator if you discharge the effluent only it will go to the stream so before discharging the operator should make sure that it has a solution so he has to dilute the solution and bring that effluent to ph 7 or 7.5 then only he has to let the solution to the river for this you need competence so that should be a minimum chemical knowledge for that this kind of person will be recruited in a industry waste water treatment plant 
the corporation is collecting all the sewage you can see drainage all the drainage water reaches the treatment plant in the treatment plant you will be having an officer like this he will be checking the effluent standards during the second module i have discussed more with effluent standards so that standard either it is met or not it has to be confirmed so he will confirm that for that the competence is required how much people are competent enough to get the job not only effluent in charge there are auditors have you seen there is a ems course available environmental management science iso 14000 course is available online so if you join that course for 12 weeks they give training and then you will be certified as an auditor if you have the auditor certificate number of companies will call you for their organization auditing so they will search for auditors from there if you are certified enough if you are competent enough you will be called for auditing because auditing is mandatory for all the industry from small industry from msme to larger mnc industries they have to follow this iso 14000 so for getting that you need auditors so that auditor course is also available so this is a waste operator jobs and maintenance staff in all organizations you need maintenance staff for that trainings are required next effluent treatment plant operators training course does not necessarily make competent if he is only training course he is not the competent so it is a entry level of requirement second part is training training is required for getting the competence so after recruiting the job imagine out of 100 people 10 people is recruited for the organization do you think immediately they will be shooting or doing their job in the organization no initially they will give training one year they will be checking you for training period in that training they will give you following instructions for your job role if you are a data analyst what are your trainings required before doing the job all organizations will give their ems system as a browser how your roles will be working what are your job importance these things will be given training for you so this will be offered by the people who are already doing the job there will be a senior person who will be giving the training for you for that job he will be working for more than 20 years he will give the job training for the freshers training can be given from two ways either the industry or from the institution so both the ways they will give training trainings which are freely available central government are giving free training for mason have you seen masons who are working in construction of building carpenters plumbers electrician these training courses are available in skill development india your sisters or your brothers or your father will be having some skill tailoring skill the national skill development training is giving a free course for them they give online training they give free videos they give certification also by this you can enhance your skill this is called external skill providing educational institutions are providing a part government is also supporting that specialized training in companies on the job training etc experienced person works with less experienced individual the fresher who is coming for the organization yes this is the example for this you can go to this website tata steel digital e shala is providing internship for the students if you want to work with tata group go to this website and you have number of courses offered can you see this the course objective they have given industrial waste water system since tata steel is also available for working in that company they give this training so you take this course you will get employment in this industry tata steel industry can you see the duration of course 2 hours if any requirement is required for that organization they immediately offer this kind of people now regarding iso 14000 broadly requires there are three types of training all organizations or industry should provide three types of training for recruiting purpose for all the employees first one is environmental awareness for an organization 
they have to take the employees for environmental issues and awareness how will they keep their organization in environmental management system so what are the things they do they have to address this for all the employees this is one second thing is specialized skills that is activity based imagine you are recruited for an organization for ac technician how you see this this is a ac technician job you can get job in number of industry first training what will be given is environmental management system training next for that specific job you will be having this kind of training with the air conditioning how to clean or how to check the condenser what are the parts this is called activity based training this is an example then third type of training is ems training environmental management system training is been given for maintenance of staff this could be audit training also how many training courses are available in tata steel can you see this basic metallurgy fundamental metallurgy some mechanical students your friends might be there they are searching for jobs they can have this training fundamental of electrical electronics etc for computer oriented tcs is offering internship final year pressures you can go to this website tcs and you can go to careers and you can search here what are the benefits they give is they give 16 days of personal leave 15 days of sick leave 2 days flexi leave how much is your salary for this internship 7 lakh 87000 per year that means around 65000 rupees around they give you benefits of internship this is an internship program they give you stipend they give you leave after attending the internship they will be recruiting for the organization so you can go through this who are the eligible people they can be phd's ms or be btech final year students now identification of training needs all the organization should be having a matrix approach what is matrix approach mean so i will tell you identify the training needs of individual and current expertise their environmental and non environmental responsibilities control all personal maintenance contractors and cleaners not only for the job people there might be contractors for the industry those people also need training some people are cleaners even cleaners need training for the job now the ways of identifying the training needs is documented in a manual so this is a matrix is given by 14001 any of the organization is recruiting for ac refrigeration service there should be a training for ac maintenance before the job he should have a ac maintenance training frequently once each maintenance staff if every staff is required they should go to this ac maintenance training then only they should be giving that offer or the role next fire responder have you seen this kind of training once in a year they will be training that what are the things has to be done in a fire for any industry for any places they will be having this kind of training frequently it has to be given annually for fire responders for incidental command like this you have a matrix for what are the job roles this training is required ems lead auditor training i have disclosed with you this ems auditor is also a course initially this will be given ems auditor training etc next third thing is called awareness ems training they need competence second thing is they need training third thing is they need awareness awareness is given for not only for pressures for all the existing employees also should be giving that is called awareness even those who are having de- desired competency should be made aware for this so awareness should be given for irrespective of the em- years of experience of employees yes how the awareness should be given this has been mentioned in iso 14000 with four distinct areas conforming environmental policies and procedure every organization should 
be disseminating their awareness regarding environmental policies they will give pamphlet brochures in the organization regarding their environmental policies and procedure and second thing is informing the employees regarding the potential damage and potential fines if the industry is not meeting the policies and requirement the industry will be having a huge fine the government will imply huge fines on the industry so they will be making an awareness for the organization that if the fines or penalties is given to an organization this will be distributed to the employees like that they can give awareness first thing is conforming to environmental policies and procedure second thing significant aspects and impacts this they can go through the process of the industry what are the process going in an industry they can take the employees to the total area of the industries and they can get aspects and impacts the person who is running a chemical process may not be having a understanding what the control needs to be in a chemical manufacturing plant he should be aware that what are the consequences if the chemicals are not under the control roles and responsibilities to achieve conformity this awareness to be given imagine a bulk manufacturing industry i have given an example it consists of mercury the mercury is harmful to the environment if it is directly disposed in the soil what happens the soil will be contaminating with mercury waste mercury is a hazard the soil will be contaminated the food chain will contaminate and when consuming that food the person will be getting a disease they should have the responsibility of achieving the conformity the industry should be giving a awareness for them on dealing the waste some companies will be having a temporary employee can you see with a temporary employee or contractor even contractors might go wrong for them they should be giving the example of uh, disposal awareness is potential consequence of departure from procedures what if the employee gone wrong apart from their duty if he has given the duty imagine the ph level should be 7 if any employee has lettered the effluent outside by ph 12 what are the consequences he has to follow or the procedures will be followed will be created as an awareness in an organization the potential consequence of departure from procedures if procedure is not followed it will be given as an awareness for the employee next thing is method of raising awareness what are the ways to create awarenesses in an organization they can provide awareness film short film they will make in general environmental issues not for their branding this is related to environmental issues now awareness booklets the awareness can be created by issuing the booklets site newsletters environmental posters these are the ways they can create awareness